Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here from cinemasound.com. Today we're going to be looking at the Cinemasound Foley Library, a little demo of how we did the Macbeth scene. We're not going to go into the nitty gritty of like all the little bits, but I want to show you track by track what we did. We're here in Logic Pro X. And I'm just going to play this scene. You, you've seen this uh, on one of the other demos we had if you've been to the website, but I'll just play this for you. We're going to mute all the Foley. And that's, I've got everything here on a bus, all the Foley tracks on a bus that are MIDI. And we're just going to mute that so you can get the gist. How now? What news? He hath almost supped. Why have you left the chamber? Hath he asked for me? No, you not. He has. We will proceed no further in this business. So you get that. Now let's turn the Foley back on. Check it out. How now? What news? He hath almost supped. Why have you left the chamber? Hath he asked for me? No, you not. He has. We will proceed no further in this business. So it may be really, really subtle, especially since we're streaming and it's being compressed and all that stuff. But let's break down kind of what we're doing here. And we'll start with the footsteps. So here is Becky's footsteps. We're just going to solo this object here. In fact, let's just zoom in so you can kind of see it better. And I'm going to also double click and show you the piano roll. And uh, this, uh, these are the MIDI bits that are actually have been that have actually been played. Let's bring up the. Uh, in fact, we don't need this video. You kind of get it. You'll see it over here, small. Let's bring up the Cinema Sound Foley Library itself. This is what it looks like. Uh, this is the footsteps female, and you can see what was loaded: wood boots with heels medium. And uh, it looks like we're using wood boot, wood boots with heels run for this. We'll just slide this over here for a second. Right. So there's the slide. All right. So there's reverb in there, but that's not in the library. We're actually getting that here from this bus. I'm using the waves. Whoa, let's come over here. The waves uh, room where we actually loaded an impulse response from set that we did. So this is exactly what this room sounded like or very, very close. So it's very easy for us. If I bypass this, you can hear what it sounds like. Oh, natural. which is great, nice and clean. But with the room in there, it really adds that realism, of course, that we want. Now, you'll notice here that these repeat. And if you're listening carefully, you can sort of hear that loop in there. These are the heels and these are the toes, which you have independent control over in the Cinema Sound Folio Library. You can also just push down a key. But in this case, we wanted to have some control. What's great about doing this in MIDI there they all are, is that if I don't like these, I can change. So like, I didn't like maybe that these sort of felt like, well, we just heard them over here. So I can move them up here. And now it's very, very different. And I like that. So that's cool. Let's listen to Josh's footsteps here. He doesn't have that many. I mean, shoot, that's awesome. Here's again. And here we'll turn the reverb off. Beautiful slide. It's just lovely. Super easy to do. Here's what the MIDI looks like. Again, if we didn't like this, and then there's the slide's going to be up here somewhere. Yeah. If we didn't like these, now these are actually the ones I was talking about where it's the heel and toe put together. I just like that creak that was in there. But if we didn't like the creak, Oh, that's nice. Let's do that one. And maybe it's too loud, so we'll just change the velocity on it. No problem, right? Super cool. All right, now let's look at some clothing, which is a little more subtle. Let's go back to Becky here. Here's her top. And I want you to notice that we've got key switches that are happening in here. This little note here actually determines which key layer we're using. Um, let's see here. Let me bring back up the library. Excuse me. So if you look down here, this point here, the blue area here, this is for choosing which sound you want to use in layer A. And then the purple area is for choosing which layer you want here, uh, which sound you want in layer B. Now we don't have any loaded in B, just A. But uh, 
this these key switches, that's what this one is, is showing, hey, use uh, chiffon dress move soft short, not any of these other ones. And as we progress during the scene, we do switch between them. So it's important to be able to have those uh, initial initial key switch bits so that you know you don't end up on the wrong layer because key switching, as you know, sometimes can create that if you're not careful. So there's that key switch. You can just see it down there. And then these are actually the notes themselves, which is super cool. Now let's make this big. Check this out. Just her neck here, this little neck move with her chiffon. And if we put this into the mix, listen carefully. Stopped. Why have you left the chamber? Hath he asked for me? No, you not. He has. We will press. It's super subtle, but it. But without it, let's mute it. Asked for me? No, you not. He has. We will press. With it. Asked for me? No, you not. He has. We will proceed. It makes a big, big difference, and that's the beauty of Foley. It's like this weird voodoo of you know, subtle stuff. Now let's listen to the bottoms that she's got. This is actually dress moving. In fact, let's look at which si which sound this is. This is the chiffon dress soft move medium. How convenient, yay. Here's her walking up basically. Now notice that it sounds really, really thin and that's because we're using the OB bandpass filter. And let's see what happens here. Indeed. So it's it's up there pretty high. And if we look at the, 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 the cutoff is what I mean, is up there very high. So if we look at the MIDI data itself, in fact, let's go to uh, the event list. You can see it's using a lot of controller number two. Now, why would we use controller number two? Well, it just happens to be what my keyboard controller uses. And if we right click or control click on cutoff, we'll see that it is controller two is controlling this cutoff. And if I use my controller here, you can see that I've got recorded MIDI data to make this go up and down. In fact, let's just do a little play here so you can see. And if I break it down. It's a really easy way to be able to create dynamic and uh, the impression of dynamics and that clothing and skin too are moving, uh, even though it's just a band pass. Now you can of course use the low pass or high pass, but there was something really unique about using band pass. And I love this OB uh, band pass filter. So in fact, let's just do this. We'll take a look at the controller data and there it is. This is the controller. Uh, let's see. Yep. This is the one we want controller two, and you'll see that it goes up to the highest frequencies. Now, if we bring this down, I'll just show you this. We got limited screen real estate here for you. You'll see the cutoff actually move down now that we've moved this down. To jump around, now it's at three and a half K, which is a very different sound than what we just heard. In fact, let's, let's split the difference. We'll put it up here. This is all MIDI. which is all MIDI, so great. So now let's look at the scene here with that a little lower. It's probably a little loud, but let's check it out. How oh, now? How oh, now? What news? We have almost stopped. Why have you left the chamber? That's way too loud, but it's a different sound. You have all of this control at your fingertips, which is super great. Let's listen to his top. He just got a little shirt action here. Pretty simple. Here's his bottoms. He just has just a little bit of it as his legs are moving. So again, all together, we've got that nice convolution reverb happening. How oh, now? What news? We have almost stopped. Why have you left the chamber? Hath he asked for me? No, you not. He has. We will proceed no further in this business. And one more time with it off. Horrible. Watch this. How now? What news? He hath almost supped. Why have you left the chamber? Hath he asked for me? No, you not. He has. It's just un it's just awful. So we hope you are enjoying your Cinema Sound Foley library. If you haven't gotten your uh, copy yet, please go 
uh, to our website and check it out and get, uh, I mean, it's going to change your religion, man. It's so, so amazing. We've got dozens of videos here to show you how to use the library, some excellent examples of how we've broken down how to program it, how to mix it. And uh, we'd love to see you at cinemasound.com as well for even more education on how to get the Hollywood level immersion into your productions. Until then, we'll see you in the Foley studio. Even if you're